You know, during this search, uh, it doesn't seem like very long since uh, Ryan Bradley. Ryan Bradley left uh, in, in good stead. You know, he and uh, Red Baker both at uh, D1 school in Memphis. He left this. Uh, he left this athletic department of school in, in great in great condition. And we're, it's evidenced by the quality of candidates that we received. I think we only advertise on the NCAA web and also the RSU uh, uh, web page. And I, to my knowledge, that's only places that we advertise. We received applications from all over, literally all over the United States. But it uh, became very quickly that there were four probably that kind of met our criteria. So we invited uh, four individuals to yeah. campus. Uh, the search committee kind of vetted those. And so we sat down and, and brought four individuals to campus. But, but it, it very quickly, as we went through this process of bringing them to campus, to meeting these individuals, and all of them no doubt could be introduced today. But there was one individual that really rose above the rest of, of the pack. And I'm not just saying that. When this young man left my office, I think I called in an athletic director and I said, wow, maybe you can meet this young man. So, uh, so it kind of, we just, only place it goes up from there because it was such a wonderful experience. And so, uh, as you get to know Ryan and his family, I think you will share our enthusiasm and our excitement. And very quickly, uh, you know, I know there's going to be media interviews and so forth here in a few minutes, but, but uh, if, you, if you look at Ryan's, uh, Ryan Irvin's resume, you'll see that he's a very busy young man. That uh, During his time, he's been a student athlete. He's been a coach, he's been an administrator, he's been a compliance officer, he's involved himself uh, in NCAA leadership roles. So you take that whole package, he's also a fundraiser. And so you look at that package and, and he had some qualities that just kind of separated him from, from the other three very good candidates. But I think one of the basic reasons that we looked at him as our number one candidate, in addition to all of his experiences, he's very active in his church and his community, but we looked at what he's done at Dallas Baptist University. And at Dallas Baptist, they have, he had responsibility for Division I teams as well as Division II teams, club sports, and, and all of that, in addition to coaching, teaching, and all the other things that, uh, that, uh, that he's been able to do in a short time there, for a short time of being about eight years as their athletic director. But you look at that whole package of what he's been able to do, and I think it boils down to one thing. He shares the same values that we share, and those values are that you win the right way. You prepare young men and women to walk out this door with a college degree, and if you look at the stats from, from Dallas Baptist University, it's pretty astounding, his graduation rates. So if you look at the fact that he committed to graduating our student athletes and winning the right way, that right way is there, the only way to win, uh, and that's the thing that we embrace here. We want our student athletes to graduate first and foremost. We want them to, yes, but we want them to be competitive and play while they're here and have a good time. But at the end of the day, we know that first and foremost that you're a student athlete. So, it gives me a great deal of pride to introduce uh, our, our third athletic director. And he can introduce Christy and, and Gage and Gentry. And, and I promised him that, that we would embrace that family, and I know you will. Uh, our community will embrace this family. I promised him that on moving day that at least 100 of you would show up and help unload the U-Haul truck. But uh, let's give a warm Hillcat welcome to the third athletic director, Mr. Ryan Irvin. Ryan? Coaches, the student athletes, the leadership staff, the 
faculty and staff on this campus that are in place uh, have tremendous opportunity to be competitive uh, on the field, off the field, and, and just be successful in, in everything you're involved in. And I'm excited and excited to come along and be a part of that and join in uh, that family. I have no doubt uh, that the leadership, the coaches, and the student athletes here uh, have what it takes to get this program to the next level and to become uh, leaders amongst the NCAA Division II and in the Harvard Conference. And I'm excited about being a part of that. Uh, not only does today start a new chapter, well, not today, I'll be uh, being introduced to you today, uh, start a new chapter in my life, but also starts a, a new chapter in RSU Athletics as we uh, begin the quest to become NCAA Division II members and not just uh, be a member, but to be a wrecking force on the field in every sport that we're involved in. And I have no doubt that's going to happen. Um, the coaches and staff and myself at RSU have the unique opportunity to share and transform the lives of student athletes on a daily basis, and that's why we do what we do. Uh, the wins are great, the losses aren't always that much fun, but being able to impact student athletes' lives and impact the community is why we do what we do. Uh, my passion is, is for the athletic staff and coaches to help our student athletes develop character traits that will enable them to be upstanding citizens in their community for years to come. Uh, as the NCAA saying goes, the majority of NCAA athletes will not go pro in sports. They're going to go pro in something else. And so that's our job to enable these student athletes to help them graduate, help them boost their grade plan them to be fathers and husbands and wives and mothers and attorneys, uh, nurses, doctors, whatever they're calling in their life to be, uh, that's our job to prepare you to be that, to be business people in the community and to be good examples, uh, and that's what college athletics is all about. I want nothing more than for our teams to be successful and to be to win. I want lots of banners hanging in the gym, lot banners hanging in the gym, uh, all of your fields. I want rings, I want all those things. I know you want that, I know your coaches want that. Uh, but we will establish an atmosphere at our students and things the right way, as Dr. Wright said. Uh, there's only one way to win, and that's what we expect of our coaches, what we expect of our student athletes, and most of all, what's expected of me. Uh, so we'll make a conscious effort to maintain integrity with everything, everything we do. We will maintain integrity in all, all NCAA rules and regulations, uh, as well as campus policies. Student athletes, uh, you know, you have a challenge. You have a challenge to be successful in the field, uh, play, but also in the classroom and in the community. Academic success is the utmost importance to me. I want our student athletes at uh, RSU to graduate at a higher rate than the regular students. I want the student athletes to be able to role model in the classroom. I want them to uh, have a higher grade point average than the regular students. And I'm sure you have a lot on your plate. You have practice, you have competition, you have travel. Uh, so you have a job, you have a boyfriend, and girlfriend, and social life. And I understand uh, academics are a big part of that. And so we want you uh, to take that seriously and to be a role model in the classroom as we, uh, and that's my vision for, for student athletes. And so as we continue to improve graduation rates and enhance the quality and the experience that you have as a student athlete of RSU, uh, I desire for you to be a role model, for you to role model to other students on campus, not because, just because of your athletic ability, people are going to look you because you're good at what you do, but also because of your excellence in the classroom. And that's what's of most importance to me. I want student athletes and coaches and teams immersed in the community and uh, being able to serve the community in a number of ways. The NCAA has a big push for uh, service and um, game, not only game atmosphere and gaming, but community engagement. Community engagement is of most importance and being engaged in a community, a community that supports you, a community that uh, will do a lot for you as an athlete here at RSU. Uh, so thanks for your time today. Thanks for this opportunity for me, but also my family. We're really excited to, to get started. Um, thank you for reaching you here for your support of RSU and Hillcat Athletics. And I look forward to working alongside each of you, uh, meeting each one of you, and 